guys, how's it going? It's Miguel once again, so can watch reviews here in beautiful Las Vegas, Red Rock Hotel, rocking the SKX 007. And actually today I'm gonna to be talking about this watch a little bit, because I need your help. I don't know if you remember a few videos back, I told you that this watch wasn't holding power. The power reserve was kind of messed up on it. Sorry if I'm looking around, I just don't want to crash here. Um, so yeah, power reserve is not holding up. So I bought a, a watch tool kit to fix it. And next thing you know, it was working correctly. But today, when I got here to Vegas, um, this thing just doesn't work. So I don't know what's up with it. I thought I fixed it, but apparently I didn't. So anyways, what I need your help with is figuring out, do I spend the money to send it to a watchmaker? I don't know, 150 bucks, 200 bucks. I'm not really sure how much they're gonna charge, but anyways, uh, tell me your thoughts, cause I'm really curious to know what you guys think. And here are my thoughts. My thoughts are, I've been looking at the Sumo, and I've been looking at some other Seiko watches, but the only downfall with those watches is I don't like the aesthetic. I mean, this thing is just very unique. It just looks, it just, you just can't match this watch. I know it doesn't have a sapphire crystal, it doesn't have uh, hacking, it's not uh, windable, and, and I get that, but I can live with that. What I can't live without is just the look of it that feeling that emotion that i get when i look at this watch and to be honest with you this was my first seiko so it has some kind of an emotional attachment to it and i know what you guys are thinking well why don't you just buy another one and put this one aside and save up until you have enough money to send it to a watchmaker yeah i could but right now i'm not in a position where i could be spending money on another watch you know i have priorities and spending money on another watch is just not gonna happen I mean I could potentially sell this watch um, and be very straightforward with whoever buys it and let them know that it's not working correctly and maybe get less than 200 bucks and then I could save a little bit more and get something sub $500 down the road a diver and it has to be a diver I don't want an Orient I do want to stick with Seiko uh, I will love an Oris but again, the charm of the Seiko SKX 007, um, in the description, I, I'll, I'll leave the link to my other video that I talked about uh, what it is about this watch that made it so popular in the Seiko line, right? It's just so charming, it's just something about it. But anyways, uh, let me know in your comments, let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, just wanna hear your thoughts. Just a short little video today, and uh, soon, actually next week, I did a collaboration with uh, Chronomat with Matthew, and we talked about the perfect one watch collection. That was a good video. So when it's uh, uploaded, I'll, I'll link it in my Instagram and I'll probably make another little video about it uh, just to let you know why I picked that watch. But anyways, uh, please comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. And remember, stay humble.